These are actually made to collapse a certain way to absorb the energy. I have a 2020 Toyota Highlander here. This one took a good blow right in this left front corner and completely destroyed this frame rail. These are actually made to collapse a certain way to absorb the energy from the impact and it acted just like it's supposed to. Luckily they sell just this front section of the frame rail and then it also has this side plate that goes right here. I went ahead and I just measured the frame just to see where everything else is at. This frame rail didn't move and any of the points behind this damage section didn't move as well so it collapsed just this front section. Today's episode is brought to you by Panther Pro with their Durobond RLEZ glass removal kit. This simplifies the process of removing glued in glass on all of your typical vehicles. So I met these guys at the SEMA show this last year and we started talking about how I as a body technician would like to start removing my own glass and doing a lot of my own glass work. And they showed me this fantastic machine right here and we started talking and here we are now and I have now been practicing using the RL Easy and I'll tell you guys what, it is very easy using this machine to cut out glass. So all you body technicians out there that have thought about doing your own glass work, this is the tool you need. It is fantastic. Be sure to go check it out, pantherpro.com. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start cutting this apart and get this frame rail section cut out and then I'll start fitting my new piece up. So now I have this main part of the frame rail fit up. I went ahead and put on the bumper reinforcement bar and I have some clamps locking this rail in place. And I wanted to fit and make sure the headlight and everything fits properly. And it looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and since I have this clamped in place, I'm gonna take this bar back off and I'm gonna get the measuring system back out 
make some measurements just to double check, make sure it's sitting right where I want it. And I'll go ahead and get this part welded on and then I will fit this side up in there and get that welded as well. Now, this shows the importance of using a measuring system. Everything appears like it's sitting exactly where it's supposed to. However, when I measure it, I have this slid in there about seven or eight millimeters too far. So I have to slide this frame rail back out. And on this design, that's completely possible to have that sitting too far and all of this still line up right. So I'm gonna take this and bring it back out. Now I have this thing measuring out right where I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I have a few welds inside of here that I have to weld. That's why I don't have this plate on there yet, but I did test fit because I was worried about how this was gonna fit around here. But I did test fit it and if you finagle it just right, I could get it in there. So I'm gonna get my welds done here and then I'll fish this up in there and get that welded on. 